What's up, man? Talk to me. Nothing. I'm chilling, man. I'm, you, you talk to me. What's been going on with you, man? It's been a it's been a busy start of the year for you, bro. You've been all over the place. How you been? Oh, man. Just been traveling the world. Um, business is going great. As far as, you know, you know um, with real estate. Um, two children about to go to college. My grandmother. Up Grand Rapids, Michigan. My grandmother was sick, so I took my plane over there to see her, mm-hmm. and um, that's really been it. Well, come on, man. I know, I know that that ain't been it. I mean, I've seen all kinds of headlines about you, man. There's, there's all kinds of rumors floating around out there. Um, but, but what's going on? There's been a lot of talk about you fighting in MMA. I, I saw uh, a couple little interviews you did. Everybody wants to know what's going on with that. So, uh, is 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 everything that's been out there true? Like, like, are you are you trying to get an MMA license? Are you gonna fight an MMA? Are you training with Tyron Woodley? I mean, there's so much to ask about it. But, 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 what can you talk about it? Well, I haven't started. Actually, I well, I started training already. Uh, not the physical part. Um, endurance part. Just more. Uh, I've been running. So far, I just I started running. Mm-hmm. And. I got, um, you know, uh, me with emotions, you know, signed their first MMA fighter. <clears throat> so, uh, um, I'm thinking about, you know, fighting in the MMA. I've thought about it. I've started, you know, I, uh, the first time I meet back on it, I ran four miles. Um, you know, I started training in, in Miami. Uh, I look forward to fighting probably before the end of the year. Uh, we don't know. Uh, it's not a, right now it's a 50-50. It's not really 100%, but I've already started training. Wow, yo, that, like, that's, that's actually crazy. I'm a little bit, I mean, listen, I know, I know we don't hang out every day, but I do feel like I know you pretty well, and um, I thought that there would be, like, nothing you could do that would shock me, but I can't, I can't lie, I'm a little bit shocked to hear that you're actually contemplating this, like, is there a reason why? Is 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 it just uh, y- you know? Is is it something new? Is it just um, you know? Are you bored in retirement? Like 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 why? Well, um, I've thought about it, and like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's like a fifty fifty. I really don't know yet, but I'm very very interested. So so I, I know you did an interview and you kinda like you kinda mentioned that um you didn't rate all your 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 different skills or anything like that, but but you did talk about wrestling, you 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 even talked about kicking a little bit and you, you kinda said you got a little bit of skills in, in those areas. Is that true? A little bit. You know, I, I rated, you know, on a silver one to ten, um, I gave the rating. You know, I was rated at first wrestling and with with my kick game, mm-hmm. we'll just see. You know, everything takes time. Everything takes time. We'll just see. Woodley actually did an interview, and 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 he mentioned that um, you know, he might do a little bit of training with you and everything. Is 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 that who you would look to work with? If like once you do officially start doing some things. It's crazy. Um, me and Willie, Willie bumped into each other on numerous occasions. We talked, um, we said that um, we need to start working out as far as, you know, you know, he got a good hand game mm-hmm. already, you know, um, and I got, I'm going to have uh, uh, a jiu-jitsu, I'm going to be working with different guys in the jiu-jitsu world. Um, my wrestling game, I'll be working with guys with the wrestling. My kicking game, I'll be working with guys with the kicking game. Mm. So before I get into the eye, the guy, I got to be, you know, well-rounded, all around the board. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, uh, Willie is an unbelievable fighter. And it's crazy that the fighter that we signed, I truly believe that him and, you know, Tyler and Willie, mm-hmm. I mean, Willie will be fighting in the future, you know, in the MMA bout. Mm. I truly believe. I think it would be, be a hell of a matchup, you know. But Willie is, you know, he's a beast. And, uh, but my guy, my guy that, I'm, that we signed, he's, I mean, he's a hell of a he's a hell of a fighter. 
we just had a uh, an interview with Ricky Hatton over in uh, England, and um, my guy asked Ricky Hatton what he thought about you fighting in MMA, and Ricky was actually the one that mentioned that uh, you've got some underrated inside fighting skills you know he talked about when he fought you and 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 how difficult and how rough it was to be on the inside with you he said you know you really knew how to use your arms you know drop a few elbows on them and stuff like that um do, do you think people are kind of underestimating your chances if you actually do fight an mma step into an octagon i think that of course i mean um this is something in fighting is not nothing new for me mm. Fighting barefoot is something new. So fighting is nothing new for me. You know, um, the thing is this, you know, I, I could be fighting a guy that has some unbelievable jiu-jitsu skills, some unbelievable wrestling skills. But the thing is this, his chances to get to me is, is I mean, the percentage of the chance of him getting to me to, to lock up with me, he has, he has to come in first to be able to get in. Mm. But he may lock up with me. And he may get wrapped up in a certain way. So you don't really know, you know, how can, how, how things can play out or how things could happen. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing, you know, with MMA, anything can happen. You know, it's, it's brutal. It's, bu it's very, very brutal. So, um, but just period. When I signed up to be a fighter, from day one, I knew it was brutal. You know, just being a fighter, period, is brutal. Mm. Yeah, you know, I know. I know, champ. That you know, in, in boxing, anytime you you fought someone, anytime you stepped up to their weight class, you you were always looking to challenge the best. You're always looking to get in with the best. Now, I know as far as this MMA stuff is concerned, there's been several rumors out there. They talk about uh, multi-fight deals and this, that, and the other. If you do end up fighting in MMA. Is is that something where you're looking to do multiple times, or are you looking just to go straight for the biggest name out there? I mean, obviously, a lot of people want to see a rematch with Conor McGregor. So, is that kind of what you would do? Um, I can't say right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't really say how how things are going to play out. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a, num a numbers man. You know, um, I'm all about the numbers. Uh, if the numbers right like there. Yeah, we, we we can make it happen. You know, one thing about me, I'm never I'm never ducking no wreck. I'm, I'm never ducking no fighters. You know, there's one thing about me, I don't duck. Mm. So I'm Conor McGregor, tough, vicious competitor, of course. You know, just like he feel like he got dynamite, he got dynamite hands. You know, with the four ounce gloves on. Mm. Uh, I feel like I got dynamite power with the four ounce gloves on. Mm. So, um. And, you know, in our fight, you say that um, there's no way he's going to get knocked out with eight ounce gloves on. <laughs> and I feel like he was complaining about the ref stopping it, but if the ref wanted to be, you know, to, uh, you know, to really actually kill a guy, he could have let that happen. But actually, he saved him. Mm. Mm -hmm. The referee was saying, "Listen, I truly believe the referee was saying that this guy." He wants this guy to fight again someday. He wants this guy to have a, a, a longer career. Mm -hmm. Yo, but that's why it's so crazy to me, champ, that we're even talking about this. I mean, is do you feel like? Because I know. You know, I know you've been retired. I know you've actually been keeping busy. I mean, you've got a million and one things going on in your life. Uh, do you, do you miss that that competitiveness in in, in boxing? Like, do do you feel like uh, like, do you feel like you have to do something like MMA? The thing is, this I know, I know, right, I know right now, I'm the biggest name in MMA, mm -hmm. hands down. Mm -hmm. I know this, mm -hmm. and the second biggest is Conor McGregor. I know this, but you know, also just even with the MMA, I would, I would love to see Woodley and Conor McGregor lock up. Mm. You know, I don't know if lock up. I think that's a good lock up. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the thing is, I can, you know, even if I fought before the MMA, I think, um, using that because it's around one, they said 140, what? Yeah, and it'd be hard for me and Conor McGregor to fight because if I was a fight in the MMA, I would have to fight at 145. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, 
the weight class I would fight at is 145. Mm-hmm. It's, like, it's all about entertainment. When it was time, I had fun. I loved to have fun. The first uh, two or three rounds, I wasn't doing nothing. Let so them do whatever you do. Mm-hmm. But in the MMA, it would be totally different. Because we don't have no shoes, we don't have no shoes on. And with four ounce gloves on, you think I'm fast with eight ounce gloves on? Imagine how fast I'd be with four ounce gloves on. Ooh. <laughs> 